Good afternoon, welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Friday, June the 26th. It's the fourth week after Pentecost, and it's week six in the Psalm Cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 107, verse 1 to 22. And Luke, chapter 22, verse 31 to 38. Please join me in singing verse 5 of Psalm 95 to the tune of Pure Nobis. Forty years I grieved with them, my people gone astray. In my anger swore to them, my rest they shall not enter. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Give thanks to the Most High, for God is good, and God's mercy endures forever. Alleluia. Psalm 107. And please recite it with me. Alleluia. Give thanks to the Most High, for God is good. God's mercy endures forever. Let the redeemed proclaim that God delivered them from the hand of the enemy. God gathered them out of the lands, from the east, the west, the north, and the south. They wandered in the wilderness. They found no city to dwell in. Hungry and thirsty, their souls fainted within them. And then they cried out to the Most High in their trouble. And God delivered them from their distress. And God led them by the right way to a city where they could live. O people, give thanks to the Most High for God's goodness towards the children of the earth. God satisfies the longing soul and fills the hungry with goodness. And some sat in darkness and the shadow of death, being afflicted with illness and bound in iron, because they rebelled against the words of God and had contempt for the counsel of the Most High. And therefore God humbled their hearts with hard labor. They fell down, and there was none to help. And then they cried out to the Most High, and God saved them from their distress. God brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death, and broke their bands in pieces. O people, give thanks to the Most High for God's goodness towards the children of the earth. For God has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron apart. Fools are afflicted because of their sins and iniquities. They abhor all manner of food and draw near the gates of death. And then they cry to the Most High in their trouble, and God delivered them from their distress. God spoke and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. O people, give thanks to the Most High for God's goodness towards the children of the earth, and let them make sacrifices of thanksgiving and declare God's works with rejoicing. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Give thanks to the Most High, for God is good. God's mercy endures forever. Alleluia. A lesson from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 22, beginning at verse 31. Simon, Simon, listen. Satan has demanded to sift all of you like wheat, <clears throat> but I have prayed for you that your own faith may not fail, and you, when once you have turned back, strengthen your brothers. And Peter said to him, Lord, I am ready to go with you to prison and to death. And Jesus said, I tell you, Peter, the cock will not crow this day until you have denied me three times. And Jesus said to them, when I sent you out without a purse, bag, or sandals, did you lack anything? And they said, no, not a thing. And he said to them, but now the one who has a purse must take it, and likewise a bag. And the one who has no sword must sell his cloak and buy one. For I tell you, the scripture must be fulfilled in me. And he was counted among the lawless. And indeed, what is written about me is being fulfilled. 
They said, Lord, look, here are two swords. And he replied, it is enough. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. And please respond, hear us, tender God. For those who are strangers and travelers, that we may welcome them as Christ. And for those who are alone, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the sick, for the aged and the infirm, especially Brother Ronald Francis and Marjorie, that they may be protected and find courage and hope in your mercy, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For prisoners and captives, especially Robert, for the persecuted and for refugees, that they may be judged in righteousness and find freedom in your truth, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For all who've died, especially George, Brother Walter Arthur, and Father Tom, that together with Francis and Claire and all your saints, they may have a place in your eternal kingdom, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. We pray. Hear us, tender God, together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O oh, beloved God, we thank you for your goodness to all creation. You redeem us from the hands of our enemies and deliver us from oppression and sorrow. May we ever seek you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.